This was surprisingly easy to set up and I can now have my AI assistant help me with things like my calendar and my contacts, my email. So I'll show you a demo real quick. And it's actually kind of simple to just, you just kind of, babe, I just plug it in and I'll be finished in no time. If you like that joke, you should subscribe. <laughs> but here's the demo. Okay. So this is a chat. Um, let's, uh, let's ask here like, hey, um, I know... I have a meeting conflict this afternoon. Check my calendar. Uh, look up Claire's email and draft an email to her saying I can't be there. Uh, don't ask for confirmation. Uh, I'm kind of being pretty precise and specific here because I think I need to tweak the prompt a little bit for these tools. Uh, so I I want to be able to be less precise, but I'll show you where you can tweak and change those things. So what it's doing here, it's looking at my calendar. Okay, perfect. Looking at the contacts. Uh, it's searching through it. Ah, uh, no, that's, uh, no, no, no. That's not what you should do. Stop it. No, just uh, for Claire's name. Okay, so uh, you see it's not perfect and honestly I think this is mostly a side of like I, A, the prompt, the prompt of the tool and B, the, um, the AI itself. So it did actually create a draft, it's, it's there. Uh, I can probably Gmail uh, drafts, drafts, there we go. Let's see if I can find this regarding, there we go. So, you know, I'm letting you know that I cannot make it. So it didn't get the email, it should be able to get that uh, let me go back here. I'll go back here. So I can do a search Google contacts for her name to get the email. Yes, of course. Aha, there we go. Smart. And now it created. Okay. So you see, uh, these are things and I'll show you where we can change these in, in the, in the prompt. Now, maybe you're asking what, what app is this? I built this app. It's called pedals. You can use it for free. Um, I basically built it because I didn't find anything that had proper, like that worked online, as in I can use it on my phone, etc., and it has proper MCP server support. So you can see here, you can just add MCP servers and it, and it works. It has a lot of other features, but I won't go into that uh, right here. So how does this work? Let's, let's, let's figure this out. Well, the, the key thing here is that, well, there's a chat, of course, and then there's the MCP. The MCP part is by, is done with N8N, and N8N is an automation tool, which is actually really, really good. So I'll show you here. This is what it looks like. I created an MCP server trigger and then I linked all these tools, uh, Google contacts, Google calendar, Google emails. Let's go back and let's, let's, uh, let's set a new one up. So I'll click plus here. By the way, uh, for N8N, you can just N8N.io, I think you can sign up. Um, so either you get it on their hosted. In my case, I'm just hosting it on my own server. Uh, then it's open source, it's for free, it's really nice. So let's go in here, I'll go back to my overview. I have the, just the MCP server here. I'll create the workflow and now uh, we start from scratch. So let's let's get this started. What I wanna do is I wanna have an MCP server and then I wanna link it through these Google tools. So I'll add my first step and I'll search for MCP, MCP server trigger, exactly, that is what I want. And now it's giving me a test URL, production URL, okay, perfect. So what we will have to do here, let me actually already do it. So I'll, this is the MCP URL I need to insert into my tool. So wherever you have your tool, insert that. In my case, um, I know where it is because <laughs> I've made this thing. So I go to the preferences, uh, assistance, what's it, assist MCP server. You see there's, there's the old one and um, I will delete it because also if you just have that URL for me, then you can access my Gmail. So I will change it. Don't, don't even try. M add MCP server NAN, that's what I call it, doesn't really matter. Endpoint URL and I'll paste in this link and then I'll click create. So now it is created. In my case, I still need to, let's just use the empty one so it doesn't get too confused. I need to go to tools and I need to link this NAN tools. Okay, perfect. So now when I chat with empty, I'd be able to use these MCP tools. Now there's none in there, so nothing's gonna work right now. I created this trigger. So that's the basic thing set up. Now we will be able to use any tools that we add 
uh, after this. So I'll go back to the canvas here. And now you see that there's a little tools thingy and I need to add multiple tools. So what would I do? Let's, uh, let's say I want to do my calendar. Calendar, so I'll see Google Calendar tool, nice. Okay, what do I want to do here? First, I need to create a, choose a credential to connect with. And this can be a little bit finicky if you've never done this before because you need to set up a Google, uh, Google Auth client in the, in the Google Cloud. So I'll show you real quick how that works. In my case, I have one already, but I'll just do create a new credential. Now it's telling me this thing, oh, authority directory, client ID, client secret. These two things, I need to fill them in. So where you do that is on the Google Cloud Console, console.cloud.google.com. If you do not have an account yet, you'll have to make one. I made one years ago. I don't remember exactly <laughs> how it works. I do think you need a credit card, but we will go into our project picker. You probably just want to create a new project and I'll do uh, tests and a N assistance, right? I'll make this one here under my organization. That's great. And let's wait a second for this to be created. Yep, there we go. Select project. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to make sure that this thing, this N8N tool can connect to my Google Calendar. And for that, we need to create an OAuth client for it. So what I need to do here is I need to go to the cloud and I need to go to the menu and APIs and services. Because what I want to do is I want to go to library and I want to make sure that I can access the calendar API. So I'll go in here type in calendar. Press enter to search Google Calendar API. This is the one I want. And I will click enable. So that means that from now on, there will be something in this Google Cloud that will be able to access the Calendar API. Now, this is good. Now, next, I want to create a new client so that N8N can connect to Google. So I'll go in here, credentials. And then I can do create credentials and I want to have an OAuth client ID. There we go. And it's telling me you must first configure consent screen. So let's actually do that. And it just gets started here. Um, this can be very simple. Uh, this is a lot more involved if you're creating an app for public consumption. But right now, since we are only going to be the only users on there, it's pretty straightforward. It doesn't really matter what we filled in here. So I'll just call it NAN user support email, just yeah, whatever email that you have. Uh, audience, I'll do internal. So that just means that only me and if I would add other people can access it. That's perfect because it's like, I only want this for me. So I'll do next contact information. Just, you know, this is again for the public, but since this is private, I don't really care. I'll do continue here and I'll create. So that's my configuration. You see it sent me to the Google Auth platform and this is very similar, but I'll just go back to clients, auth client IDs, create clients. Okay, application type, it is a web application. A name, let's call it N8N, all right? And now if you remember in N8N, it showed me a redirect URL. So I'll click it to copy. I'll go back here and in the authorized redirect URLs, I'll paste this in and then I'll do create and it will take a few minutes. Okay, so now you see here the client ID and client secret. These are the ones that we need to copy paste back into N8N. So I'll copy this, I'll go in here, I'll paste the client ID and I'll copy the client secret and I'll paste it. Again, uh, don't try to use my client ID client secret because I will be deleting it right after. Now I do recommend that if you're doing it like me, you're setting up multiple things, just keep this window open for a while because we need to also create a new connection for the uh, for the calendar, for the email, for the contacts, we need to copy paste those things in again and again and again. So it's more easy if you just have uh, a single client that you reuse, you can of course create two or three clients in, in uh, Google Cloud, it doesn't really matter. But I'll do this and you see here it says sign in with Google. So there's a new button that shows up. And this, uh, I'm actually seeing a pop-up window, you're not seeing it on the share screen, but it's just a normal Google login. It's just asking me to log in and I'll click allow and now it says connection successful. So. Oh, it's good, perfect. Let's close this, perfect. Okay, so Google Calendar account, in my case it's called two. Tool description set automatically, so this is where you change the prompt basically. So this would be, in my case, I want this to uh, list the events of today uh, from Google Calendar. Right. Uh, in uh, When you're describing tools and MCPs, it's also, it's often useful to describe to the model when to use this, so, uh, Use this if you need information about today's meetings.
for example. Uh, but today's meetings or the people in them, for example. Okay, so what do I want? I want events, yes, and I want to get many events. Calendar, I'll just use my personal calendar. There we go. Uh, limit 50, that's fine. And then I'll do here before and after. I actually want them to be after now minus uh, one days. This help, this help is so good. Like, I don't know how to type these uh, expressions, but it just gives me so <laughs> information that's so well. Uh, actually, I don't want this minus days. I want to have the start of the day. So I'll do start of day. Yes, that is today, the start of the day. And then I want it to end before end of day. All right, so that will show me all the events that start after you know, past midnight and, and before the end of today. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's basically it, okay? So now we want to test this. So I'll do this thing, it says execute previous nodes because the first one isn't tested yet. So I'll just, I'll click it and now it's listening. So now what I can do is I can go back to my chat and I can ask it list today's calendar events. And now it correctly calls a tool and we see that there's stuff in there. Perfect. So if I go back here, it's being green and it shows the example result on the right. A little check mark. Perfect. So it's working. I'm, I'll show you. It was just pretty, pretty quick. In and out, it's done. <laughs> and then we can do the same things for all the other ones. So let's, for example, do the contacts. I'll do another plus uh, contacts, Google contacts tool. I think this one needs a little bit more prompting. So again, you would create a new credential. Redirect URL is the same thing. So you just go back and you copy the client ID. I'll paste it. Client secret, copy this, paste this in again, sign in with Google, because I need to sign in again because I need to give the additional permission. So again, I pick my account and I click allow because it's now asking for the contact permissions. And then I can close this window, it's green, all good. Okay, Whew. Google contacts. I think we need to have a little bit better prompt here. So basically what I want this to do is to search for a contact by name or email. Uh, and I noticed that before, uh, at some point, it was searching for the name of the person and then the company in one go, that doesn't work. So um, I'll actually I'll actually put that below, that those details. So search for a contact by name or email. Uh, useful if you need to find the full name of a person mentioned in a chat, or if you need to find their email address. Okay, resource, contact, yes. Operation, I want to get many contacts. Return all, no. Limit 100, that's fine. Fields, let's see what I want. I want email addresses, what do I want? Names, nicknames, yeah, because you know, I want the AI to know when I'm calling my mom, mom or something. Uh, organizations, it could be useful too. Uh, phone numbers. And is there something else? Maybe URLs, maybe later I'll need, I wanna have like an Instagram integration or something. Okay, perfect. Use query, uh, yes, okay. Cause that will make it search. And then what is the actual ser searching? Well, this we cannot say beforehand. This is what the AI should do for me. So that's this little sparky thing. Let's the model define this parameter. So I'll click it, define automatically by the model and I will add a description. So um, search query. Uh, and I know this is either name, search query, either name or email address. Um, only, only, only either a name or an email address, nothing else and not both at the same time. Right, uh, just to make sure that it really understands. Like this, the, these prompting things, they're surprisingly important. So if you're noticing that your MCP little tool, you think these aren't working as well, you really need to describe very well uh, how, how the parameters should be passed and in which cases they should be used. And that's very, very helpful for the model. And don't be afraid of having longer-ish uh, prompts. Like, tokens are cheap these days. <laughs> so, Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's test this out. 
and I will actually, I will pretend it didn't do the calendar. Um, and I will do, instead of list today's calendars, um, give the emails of the people I'm meeting with today. Uh, actually, I think, uh, well, yes, of course. Actually, I don't think it will know about the, oh, it knows about all the email addresses. Okay, perfect. Uh, because they're already in the calendar. In this case, um, it is not using the Google Calendar because I have set up caching in this app and I know that and it doesn't, it doesn't refresh when there's no tools in there. So what I will actually do, I think I can just, uh, well, you know, let's, let's actually try this. Okay, can you search my contacts for Marcel? Yeah, I cannot do it. So let's uh, let's do this. I'll go to my little MCB servers. I'll copy this. I'll delete it. And I'll just re-edit. And 8N. This is a bug, by the way, that I need to fix on my side in <laughs> this thing. I'll relink it. Okay, perfect. Meeting information. Let's go back here. Uh, I can collapse this and this so you can see. Let's try that again. Oh, that is very empty. It's very empty. Okay, let's try this. No, at all. Okay, it's broken. It's completely broken. Uh, probably because, yes. So this is one thing. Once you, if you're doing this in test mode, once you've tested it once, it stops listening. So I need to click execute previous notes. Now it's in test mode again in N8N. And then now I can run it again. No? There we go. It's there. It's there. Let's Let's do this. Ah, oh, come on. Hello? Well, that's not hello. <laughs> it's search my contacts. Is it still running? Yeah, it's still running. Search my contacts for my name. What tools do you have? Okay, well, so this is not working, but this is a problem on the pedal side that I'll fix <laughs> right after this. But you get the idea. I mean, at some point you get to adding all of these items and then you can do the workflow like I demoed in the beginning. And once you've done it, it's very important. You need to switch from test mode to actual like active mode. So here in an end, I have this inactive thing. I need to switch this to active. Got it. And then when I double click on this, you see that there is, yeah, stop listening. There is a test URL and there's a production URL. So you want to switch production URL and this is the one that you want to have in the settings. So I will go back here, settings, MCB servers, edit this and then I change the link. So there's no more testing there. So uh, let's try this again. See, maybe it works. No, okay, there's no actual tool. Okay, but ah, you know, it works. <laughs> That's what, it works. It just it just it just works. Um, <laughs> anyways, you're very welcome to to use this app. Uh, I, I think it's great. It's just the, these, doing these things of like setting things up. It can be a little finicky. Um, I, I, this is a clear you know, caching issue. I know where it is. I'll fix it today. Um, but yeah. So uh, thank you for watching and give me some feedback. Like let me know what you like, what you didn't like. If there's stuff that you want to see more of or less of. Um, yeah, I'm having fun here. So see you next time. Bye bye.